What's up guys, the Snowman here. We've got another international football competition to talk about today. It's the AFC Asian Cup. If you find this video helpful or informational, please check out my other videos, World Cup Explained, Copa America, Africa Cup of Nations, and more. All about the AFC Asian Cup for right now though. We'll go over exactly what it is, its teams, qualification, and the format of this event. So what is the AFC Asian Cup? It's the primary international men's football competition in Asia. The Asian Cup is sanctioned by the Asian Football Confederation or AFC for short. Whichever country wins is the champion of Asia. So basically this is Asia's big international soccer tournament. We have the Euros in Europe. UEFA runs that. Copa America in South South America, the Gold Cup in North America, etc. With the Asian Cup, you have all the best Asian nations battling for continental glory. The Asian Cup was first held in 1956. It's a tournament that takes place every four years, just like the World Cup or the Euros. It was on an even-numbered year schedule, but since 2007, now it's played in odd-numbered years. So 2011, 15, 19, 23, 27, 31, etc., one exception, the 2023 edition will be played in 2024 due to some adverse summer weather conditions in Qatar, but generally this event played in odd-numbered years. Let's talk about teams in qualification now. Technically, there's 46 teams eligible to enter the Asian Cup, 46 nations a part of AFC as of 2024. Those 46 teams are whittled down to 24 as part of a year-long qualification process leading up to the final competition. Essentially, there's four stages of qualification, two playoff rounds, and two group stages. Just know that we have 46 teams in Asia, but only the best 24 teams qualify for the final event. From there, we have our remaining 24 nations who compete at the Asian Cup, an event that typically lasts about a month and is played in January or over the summer, depending on scheduling conflicts. This is what the format looks like, very similar to tournaments like the World Cup. 24 teams that number has increased over the years started off with just four teams in 1956 uh, that number jumped from 8 to 10 to 12 in 2004 it grew to be a 16 team tournament and since 2019 the asian cup is a 24 team final event we combine two phases, a group stage and a knockout stage. Our 24 teams are divided into six groups of four teams each. From there, the teams engage in a group play in a single round robin format. So every team guaranteed to play at least three games once against the other uh, three teams in their group. Teams are awarded three points for a win, one point for a draw, and zero points for a loss. After the group stage, we tally up the points and the top two teams from each group, plus the four third place teams with the most points advance to the knockout stage. This is how the knockout bracket looked in 2019 when the United Arab Emirates was the host nation. Again, all six group winners and six runners up, plus the four best third place teams, they're all paired up, and then we play a 16 team single elimination knockout draw. So if a team loses, once they're knocked out if games are tied after 90 minutes we play extra time and go to a penalty shootout if necessary we go from 16 teams to eight to four until just two nations remain they play one single match to determine who's the best in asia and this is a quick look at all the teams that have made at least one final at the afc asian cup as of 2024 japan the all-time leader in titles with four they've been the clear best team especially since the turn of the millennium saudi arabia iran South Korea, all with multiple trophies. Uh, personally, I'd like to see the quality of this event keep improving. I'd say the continental tournaments in Europe, South America, North America, and Africa are much more rich in talent. Uh, there's not as much global buzz about the Asian Cup compared to, say, the Euros or Copa America, but it only comes around once every four years. Still always entertaining to see who comes out on top in Asia. Thanks a lot for watching my AFC Asian Cup Explained video. If you have any questions, or comments you know please leave a message and uh, I'll be happy to help uh, give a thumbs up if you found it informational and subscribe to the snowman sports media for more soccer and football content cheers